Youth runner here with Cherry Creek standout uh, Emily Cohen. Fifth place today in the uh, girls sweepstakes race in the Desert Twilight Festival here at Toker Six uh, Golf Course. Uh, Emily obviously just uh, all, uh, always right there with, uh, with with the best of the best of that in the country. But uh, but I have to ask, like you know, I mean, it's always a blessing for you to come down close to sea level. But, uh, but just. Uh, I mean, how, how much of a challenge was it, you know, because the fact that we always expect a dry heat out here, but maybe a little bit more humidity yeah. tonight, did you, like, uh, I mean, did you feel like it, it impacted the preparation at all? I mean, obviously once the gun goes off, you have no control yeah. over it, but do you feel like it impacted the warm-up at all? Um, not really. I think just like the farther you run your race, the more the heat gets to you, but honestly, you just got to keep pushing through it and just, you got to make the most out of the situations because you can only control what you control, so it's hard, but you just got to push past it. It's not too but, uh, but how much of a blessing is it to finally be able to see sea level for the first time this year? It's so nice. I love racing down here. I mean, honestly, I love racing in Colorado too, but it's just really, I'm so grateful that my team gets to travel to meets like this, so I'm enjoying it for sure. And uh, obviously, you know, so, uh, so much of the blessing of running tonight is obviously you have to have a really good understanding on November 23rd of what Toka Sticks is going to be like, yes, and you'll see it in the daytime, yeah. right? Uh, so, I mean, just the fact that, I mean, obviously, you know, it's, there's no surprises, no mysteries. You can, yes, you, can, uh -huh. you can see all the turns coming up. Yes. You can see the course and whatnot. So, yeah. I mean, uh, do you feel good about the information that you gain yeah. to set yourself up for November? I think it's always good to have knowledge of the course before you go into it. So today I didn't really know what it was going to look like, but going into NXO, that'll be super, super helpful. So I'm grateful for that. So that'll be good. Awesome. Uh, and uh, uh, last thing, I mean, just, uh, like I said, just uh, the consistency, you know, whether it's a Steve Lillman, whether it's a Liberty Bell and, and here and, uh, and whatnot, like, how, like how encouraging is, uh, is is that for you? I mean, because I, I know, you know, you've shown it before uh, that, that you that you can peak in the postseason, but just this consistency during the regular season, like, is uh, is that affirming for you? Yes, it's definitely a boost of confidence. Um, I think any time you run a PR or just like feel good in a race, it's always gonna help you moving forward. Um, so yeah. I'm happy with it for now, so yeah. Fantastic. Emily, great job. Thank you so much.